Okay, I'm going to show you how to tune up your Windows XP. Uh, this is found in the article Optimizing Your uh, PC for Audio in Windows XP. It helps your interface run better, and if you're having connections problems, it can solve these. So, the first step um, involves changing process scheduling to background services. Now, this is done by going to your start menu, right click on my computer, and go to properties. This will open up your system properties window. In this window, we need to go to advanced. Once we're in advanced, you'll see a section that says performance. I'll just click on settings there to bring up the processor performance settings. If we go to the advanced tab, we find processor scheduling. Now you can select between programs and background services. You want to select background services as, as this will assign more processor power to uh, the drivers that run your audio interface. So select this and then click apply. And that will save the setting. And then click OK. You can now close system properties as the next step doesn't involve the system properties. Uh, we're now going to check the power scheme to make sure that is always on. So we'll go to the control panel. And now if your control panel doesn't look like this and you don't have all the options, it might look a bit like this. Uh, just click on the switch to classic view and this will bring up the ho all the options. Now scroll down to power options. Uh, once you're in power options you need to select that power scheme is on always on. This will make sure that the CPU receives full power so you'll get the best performance and it also makes sure that your computer won't go to sleep while you're recording. So click apply Right, the third step is to disable all the system sounds. This is also in the control panel. So go to um, sounds and audio devices. Click on the sounds tab. And on the sound scheme, select no sounds. This will just stop any annoying beeps or sounds happening during your recording, which would spoil it. Click apply to save that and OK. The fourth step is to disable the firewire port under the network adapters so that it can be dedicated to running your interface so if you go back to the system uh, properties by right clicking on my computer and clicking properties that will open up the system properties again this time we need to go to hard the hardware tab and once we're in the hardware tab click on device manager which will bring up a list of all the devices on your computer Okay. Now scroll down to network adapters where you'll find the 1394 net adapter. This is your firewire port acting as a network adapter. So we want to disable this. So you right click, click the disable and click yes to the message that comes up. And that should refresh and you should see a little red, uh, red blob over it. And this tells you that it has been disabled. So close that. The next step uh, is to set transfer mode to um, DMA. Uh, sorry, this is also in the device manager. Um, you need to go to the IDE ATA ATAPI controllers tab. Sorry, it's a bit of a, a mouthful, but you can see on the video. Um, and you need to find each one that says. IDE controller so this one isn't actually an IDE controller uh, and it doesn't have the uh, advanced settings tab although now you can see that this one is the primary IDE channel it does have advanced settings tab and you need to check that DMA if available is selected this basically allows uh, hardware to uh, transfer information directly into the computer's memory without having to go through the processor so let's speed things up a little bit and do that for I only have one ID uh, channel on this uh, computer but if you have more than one then do that for all of them you can then click OK right the final step is a nice and easy one uh, go back to the control panel open up Windows firewall and just check that it's off this can use up system resources and uh, conflict with programs so just make sure that's off and click OK and there you go, your XP is tuned, ready to be used for audio.